Hey, it's Rachel at From Moments to Milestones, and I'm here today to put together our newest paper pad card kit for you. This is uh, featuring the Minte Garage 6x6 paper pad, and we created seven cards with these. We were trying to go for more masculine looking cards, and so that these are the seven cards we're going to make. You get the remainder of uh, the 6x6 pad in your kit, as well as written instructions with pictures and a list of the supplies I use to make the kits. I will start right now and let you know that we have construction going on next door and I can hear them pounding already. So if you can hear that in the background, I apologize. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with this card first. This, um, it's all about you. So what's nice about this card is that it could be Father's Day or a birthday, even graduation. So we will start with that one. And what I'm going to start with is inking my papers. So I use two different, I use black and brown inks um, to create these cards. Uh, vintage photo and black soot. I'm going to start with a vintage, I'm going to use just the vintage photo on this one. And I'm just going to go around the edges of all my papers. I'm going to hold off on that one and I'll tell you why in a minute. I'm even going to do my buttons. Alright, so... Let's start by uh, making our collar here. So you have this plaid sheet and you have uh, the rectangle of the plaid as well. And depending on how you, I mean, you could certainly uh, switch the orientation of the car to put the buttons on that side, but I'm gonna stick with what I did here. And so what I'm gonna do, so you can see, is match up these two top right corners. And then I'm just gonna pull, keeping those corners touching, I'm just going to pull this up until I kind of have that opening that I'm looking for. So that's about the angle I'm looking for right there. And I don't want to glue it down yet because I have mine popped up. So I'm just going to turn it over. I think I'm going to grab a pencil. Oh, and I just moved it. Perfect. Let's try that again. Flip it over and I'm just going to draw where I want to cut it. And get out my trimmer. And we'll just cut on those lines. Let's see, there's one there to there. You could use straight edge scissors too if you're comfortable with that. I'm going to re-ink the edges of where I cut, which is right there. All right. And so now let's go ahead. I'm going to use some I have a, rom a roll of foam here. Let's see. Get like that. All right. So I want that to go up there. And the only thing I'm going to be mindful of is if I need to tuck in that. So I might space out my buttons real quick. So we're just going to line them up right along the edge. I'm going to space them out here. That looks good. Let me get some glue. Alright, there's those. So now I'm going to go ahead and put down this um, collar since my buttons are down. Alright, I got the backing removed. So I'm going to go ahead and put my collar on. go and then I'm going to go ahead and put this on to my card base I 
and you'll have a white border and it's up to you I left mine bright white you could certainly ink the edges if you wanted to okay so now we're ready I'm gonna put this last button right here So the buttons are on and now we're going to mess with this pocket. So my pocket, I accidentally cut the angle way too sharp. So mine might turn out slightly different than yours. Um, let's see. What you're going to do is take your pocket and you're going to um, take your sentiment, take your pocket, center it over the sent sentiment so this craft piece is slightly smaller than your pocket on purpose so it looks like it's tucked into the pocket you're going to put the point in the center and then you're going to either hold it and take your scissors and trim or you can uh, mark it and put it in your trimmer however you want to do it because mine is so sharp i'm afraid i'm starting to cut it off i'm going to alter mine just a little so you're going to match it up like so i'm going to hold on to it like that and now you're going to have your little pocket square sticking out of there like so. So mine looks just a little different and I'm okay with that. Yours should have an angle at the top that matches at the bottom. So now that I have that how I want it I'm going to go ahead and just ink the edges so it all matches. And then what I'm going to do put some adhesive on the back of that. I'm going to put my pocket over it where I want it and then because I, I don't want to stick I'm going to pop up my pocket so I'm going to use this as a guide I'm going to get it right in there and I'll lay that down and then I can pop up my pocket and it'll actually look like there's something tucked inside the pocket you could certainly glue that to your pocket and um, pop all of it up if you wanted all right, now I'm going to stick my pocket down. All right, and that card is completed. All right, our next card is thank you so much. You're the best. And you have lots of letters in here, so you want to be careful when you are pouring these out. And you have two tiny little brads, which I am going, and they are tiny. I'm going to put these up and out of the way so I don't lose them. So, let's see. We're going to shove all this stuff off out of the way. It's going to be hard, hard to see those letters because I have a black background here. But we're going to start with this paper and the two papers with pipes on them. First, I'm going to ink the edges. Well, before I ink the edges, I am going to um, tear my paper. So you should have two strips. They're slightly longer than your card, so you got room to play with. And if you want that white edge, you're going to need to pull it towards you. So I want, I'm going to do about, oh, it's about an inch, inch and a quarter, like so, the bottom. And then up here at the top, I just want it to be oh, about a half an inch. So you have that and that. And one good thing to use as a guide is you have this, we're going to use this as a template later. But you want to put that in there. And if that does, if the letters don't fit, then your pieces are too thick and you'll need to tear a little bit more off. But I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and ink everything. All right, I'm going to put down the denim paper onto the card base. All right, and then before I put this on, I think I'm going to, I'm not going to glue them down just yet, and I'll show you why. This is some tedious work we're going to get into here. 
and those being raised up might be in the way, but at least I'll get a feel for what I'm doing. So now I'm going to just set this off for now. And we're going to pull in all these black letters that we have. I'm wondering if I should put down some white paper so you can see what I'm doing. So we have the letters that cut out from there. Thank you so much. And you should have two sets of everything. And we are going to layer the black on top of the black. So like I'm going to take this O here. And I'm going to put some glue on it and stick the other O right on top. And it's going to make our letters thicker. So they'll kind of pop up off the page so you can see them there. And actually, so I don't screw up this cardstock, I'm going to use some silicone here. That way if I get glue on it, it will clean up nice and easy. It's a better idea. Alright, so that one's done. And so I'm just going to continue just that same way. Layering them up. I have all my layer letters layered up. So now in this you have some press and seal on there and there are your um, blue jean letters. So what I'm going to do is pull off the paper but try to leave the letters. Okay. Check out the center. And so I put that press and seal in there because it keeps it just the way you want it. So I am going to flip that over. I'm just going to start with the word thank and I'm going to put those black letters on there. And the reason why I put it on press and seal is so that you would have a couple options for putting this together. So one thing that you can do is leave it on here and then you can just flip this over put glue like on the back of the black we'll lay it down let it adhere and then we can pull out the press and seal and it'll be right where you want it the only problem with that is you can see that I have inked my the edges of my letters so they stand out more um, I'm going to attempt to as you can see these letters are raised to just um, going over with my dauber like so. That's what I'm going to try. The other option which some people kind of struggled with in class yesterday and I get it because um, I did the same thing here and it's not super easy is we're going to lay this down as a template and I suggested getting the letters where you want them and then um, putting that template down with like I'm using some post-it tape so it won't move and then you're going to put those letters inside of there and glue them in and then you're going to have to pull this off. And sometimes pulling this off is hard because um, if you, you know, accidentally glue onto it, it's either way it's kind of a tedious process. So those are your two options. I think I'm going to opt for the sticking it on and inking it later. I may even try some a Q-tip or something or a... Uh, like an eye makeup thing to see if I can get that to work. So, so you can watch me see if I struggle and then decide what you want to try. Or if you don't care that it's not completely lined up the way the die is, then you can just space out the words thank you so much and move on. That's fine too. When I did my card, I actually cut these thank yous 
the letters out of black foam and it was kind of a nightmare so I opted for layering cardstock instead so we'll see which was worse all right so I have those on there and so now you can see that it's lined up perfectly so I'm going to go ahead and put these um, border pieces on and I did pop those up you don't have to it's an option Okay, and so now I'm going to put glue on the back of all the letters and get that lined up where I want it. got the glue down. Now I'm going to turn my card this way and line it up like that so I can grab both the ends. I'm just going to press them down. And I'm going to let it sit before I pull off that press and seal make sure it dries because I don't want to have something wrong there. And I'm just going to gently like pull and roll it back. Oh, see, it's not ready yet. So we have our sentiment on there, but you kind of can't see it because it's the same paper on top of the same paper. So I'm going to take this um, ink and just bring those letters to life. I did rip off a little bit of my, oh, but that's okay. We got a distressed look going on here and I'm okay with that. can see the thank you so much and now we need those two so the other option like I said would have been you would have had that in there and then you would have had to peel it out so I don't know what you chose but there is that now you have those two itty bitty brads and this uh, you're the best so the card will say thank you so much you're the best and that is going to fit right in there over the O and the U and I'm going to get, I have a little stamp pad, I'm going to get a piercer, and I'm just going to poke holes in both ends, and we're going to stick those brads through. Now, these are tiny. You stick the brads through, but you're not going to, unless you have something to cut them with, to be able to, if I split them like you normally do, you're going to have some sticking out. So if you have some wire snips that you cut your dies with, those will work perfectly to trim that off. So 
So I'm just going to take that and snip it off. If you don't have that, you're just going to want to bend both the legs the same direction, but I would suggest doing them one at a time so that you don't bend your paper. So I have it in there. I'm going to split them and I'm going to do the one first. And then I'm just going to bring the other one over. So now they're both going the same direction, if you can see that. And then this one is split and I trimmed it. Okay. So either way is going to work. I think because I got that one going and it lays flatter if you can split them like so. trim that off. Okay. And then we're just going to glue that on there. Now you can put a little bit of foam on the end um, if you want to, to make it um, match the level. It's up to you. I'm just going to kind of put some, a line of glue and where it touches, great. So it goes right over the O and the U. There. And that card is finished. All right, our next card is Hope Your Birthday Has All the Fixing for a Great Day. We got lots of little bits and we're actually, we'll just start there. So what I want you to pull out, we don't need the pocket. We don't need the sentiment. We don't need these wheat looking pieces right now. We don't need the dark brown half tools here. These are handles. We don't need those. So you need the gears. I'm going to put the silicone back down. Maybe clean it up for me. Okay. Put the gears, and then you're going to have these craft colored tool die cuts. Four of those. Two little nuts. You won't need these. Well, yeah, we will. Let's, so you have these two. Let's do this part first. You have these two greenery pieces, or, yeah, stems, brown stems. And then these little cloud, these are actually cotton and we're going to glue those on. So each one gets four and you might want to ink them first. So I'm just going to put a little on the bottom for now of all of these pieces because it'll be hard to ink that once it's glued on. And I'm just using that same vintage photo all right so then I'm gonna put a dot of glue down here at the bottom of each one and then we're gonna pick up like so So then you end up with that. So we're going to repeat that process for the other stem. All right, so there's our other cotton piece. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. All right, we have more inking to do, so you can do it now or later. It's up to you. All right. So now for these tools, we are going to get out some wax and make them look like old metal tools. So I have two different brands here in two different colors. So we have Sizzix Luster Wax, and they have lots of different colors in this. And then we have this Art Alchemy Vintage Gold. 
and this comes in a little tin like this. Pretty much the same product. I think I am going to get a little scratch piece of paper here. Get a little palette knife. And I'm just going to scoop some out so it's easier to get to. I'm just going to put some on there like that. I'm going to do the same with the gold. So that way you knew what I was using. And then I have a couple old pieces of foam here. And I'm going to try to keep my fingers as clean as I can. So I'm going to start with the silver. And I'm just going to get some onto my piece of foam here. And I'm just going to go over the surface of the gears. And I kind of like this. This is basil paper, so it has texture to it. So you can see the texture and it just adds to the distress look. So I'm covering it the best I can. It's not completely covered. I like the fact that the brown's coming through. So you get it as, uh, as colorful as you want. And then we're going to use the gold on top. So I'm going to get some of the gold. And I'm not going to put it everywhere, just here and there. There we go. We got some more on there. So just here and there like so. And I'm just going to let that dry while I do the tools and we're going to come back and add a little ink on top. So that piece I'm just going to set off to the side and we're going to repeat that same process with um, the tools. Now we do have those dark colored handles so like you don't have to cover the whole thing if you want to put the handle on there um, for the hammer but like this wrench here you're going to want to cover the whole thing. saw and then the two little nuts all right and then we're going to go back over with the gold just to add some distressing got those done and then what I'm going to do I'm going to come back in with this vintage photo ink and start with the gears and I'm just going to ink the edges of everything we're going to cut away this part here so I'm just going to add some darker color in there scrunch them up a little bit same thing with the hammer and the wrench getting all kinds of messy. Alright, so I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead, we're going to grab those handles so your wrench doesn't need a handle and the bolts or the nuts are fine like they are. So I'm going to take some scissors and trim off the handle part and glue it right on. Like so, and then it's up to you if you want to add ink to this dark brown, you could. Alright, and then we have the hammer handle. Trim that. There we go. And the saw. So the saw kind of has this 
I don't know if you can see right in there there's kind of like a little bump and I'm going to make that come straight back to the edge. That's how I'm going to trim mine. Get some long edge scissors. Just like so. Let's see. Perfect. Actually, I may have to go back to the handle. There's really no... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. on, just add some more ink. Alright, we are done with that mess. I'm just going to go ahead and trim away. And at these two little half things I'm not going to worry about either, so I'm going to trim those away and just toss that. And you're left with the gears. So I'm going to clean up my mat here. I just have some rubbing alcohol in there and that'll clean it up real nice. All right, so we've got all that done. So we have a little bit more inking to do. I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of all my papers, the pocket die cut, and the sentiment. And I'm going to do my real lightly my card base I don't want that bright white but it's if you do it I think it'd be fine too because you have all that cotton the pocket and I'm going to try to get some of the edges they're stitching on there but it's not showing up very well and lightly do the sentiment Also going to do these uh, pieces of wheat here, just a little, just so it all matches. All right, that looks good. Let me just wipe my area down again. Okay. So let's glue it down. We're going to put down the wood shelves, whatever that paper is. And it should have a tiny white border, very tiny. Oh, it looks like I cut it wrong, maybe. There's a lot more down there. Well, that stinks. I probably, I do apologize for that, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to trim off my card base. If yours is like that, nobody's going to know that you trimmed your card base down. And if they get out measure it, then maybe you should send it to someone else. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now our pocket's going to go right in here. And everything's going to shove inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some foam and put it on the bottom for now and the sides so that I can tuck in what I need to. And then I can go back in and add foam near the top. Actually, I don't. Yeah, I did. I went back and added it. down there. All right, so there's some foam. And then I won't have anything there so I can tuck stuff in. So let's go ahead and get that down. All right, let's center our pocket on there. Good. Your gears, I still have one little poke here. Your gears are gonna just lay right on your pocket 
and then your sentiment's going to go over it and those two nuts on the side. I'm probably going to finish and do that at the end. So I'm going to start with these tall grasses here. And I'm just going to glue at the bottom that way I can move them around if I want. coming out over here and we've got the cotton there and here great and I glued all these straight down and I did pop up the tools so it's up to you And let's see, I'm going to get some little foam squares out. Let me cut some down. And then I'm going to put the glue down here. I'm not going to push anything down yet until I'm happy with where it's at. So let's a little wrench. And popping up this little screwdriver wasn't the most fun, so you may want to just forget that. Let it fly or glue it down. That looks good. And if you really want to, I'm going to try to get a real skinny piece of foam to put behind my screwdriver. Pick it up like so. should have done it before I glued it down, but that's okay. There it is. That way it won't get caught on anything and it's down. Alright, so our tools are in there. Our greenery is in there. So let's put down the gears. kind of hang off the pocket a little bit and I glued all this straight down since our pockets already popped up I don't want the added bulk the, and then the two little nuts on there on there and one right there whoops not enough glue Maybe not. All right. That card is finished. Okay, our next card, hooray, it's your birthday. So this card has lots of fussy cutting. So that's where we're gonna start. So we got a tag. So you should have three of these little mini cards, a gear, and all of these pieces here and they all need fussy cut um, we're going to ink them up so you can leave a white border if you want 
or get as detailed. I would suggest not getting super detailed and caught up in it. Just trim them out the best you can. We're going to ink them up and layer them up so you're not even going to see everything. On this one, like right here, this is like a pressure gauge. I didn't even, I just cut out this circle. I left that part off. This is pretty straightforward. Just cut out the signs. I left the hole, the, like I didn't cut out the hole in the middle. The same for, you can tell on these screwdrivers. I left those big bulks and we're just gonna tone down the white with some ink. And the greenery, the, the leaves and stuff, same way, so. I will start cutting and I will be back. All right, I have all my pieces cut. I am gonna say right here, it's up to you. You can see that in my card, I have some of those leaves here and down here. So right here, there's this little piece that's just got two rounder leaves. I'm just gonna cut that off so that I have two different pieces. All right. So now what I'm going to do is ink the edges of everything and then we'll uh, distress our tag. So this is one card where I use the black as well, um, mostly on the tag. So I'm going to use the brown ink on all of these die cuts and papers and then I'll come back and show you the tag. All right, so I have all of that inked. So what I'm gonna do is the tag. And so I kind of cut mine goofy. It's got a weird mark. I'm just gonna take that off. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go around the edges with the brown. And I'm going to also kind of just rub over and try to pull up this tag has been embossed with a 3D boundary texture fade. And so I'm going to bring forward that pattern. And then I'm going to take black and I'm going to do kind of the same thing. I'm going to do the edges. grab some areas and add some black. Okay. And then what I did is I'm going to take a stamping block. I'm going to put a little black. I'm going to put a little brown. And then I have a water pen somewhere that's full of water. Okay. And I'm just gonna, actually I have some water. I'll just spray water on there. Onto each color. I'm gonna pick it up, start with black, and then I'm just gonna tap. And it might be easier to use something else. So just like that, clean out this one. Got all that off. And now I'm gonna do the same with the brown. color off. Clean that. And I will set that aside to dry. And if you don't want to mess with the ink splattering, it's not necessary. It just adds some more um, distress. So I'm going to go ahead and put down this paper onto my white card base. still wet. So I'm just going to dry it a little bit so we can move things around. All right, that should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tag on. I'm 
going to put a lot on because it kind of warped a little bit with that water on there. It's kind of a thin paper. And I'm just going to slightly turn it and I'll trim off the edge. And the back of my card is all messy because I didn't clean my workspace, but that's all right. Okay. Let's see. We have this reinforcement circle, so I'm going to put that down. It's going to go right there. And then I forgot to put the twine in my tag, so let's do that. I didn't put any adhesive at the top so I could slide it in, so maybe we'll just wait and do that at the end. Alright, so now we're going to just layer up. So I'm going to flip over all my die cuts and put a little bit of adhesive on the back, just a little, and I can go back in and add foam or wet glue when I have them right where I want them. Let's see. Oops, I forgot that one. So we kind of have this here, and we're, I'm just going to start tucking. We have those in there. There's really no right or wrong. We're just layering up these die cuts. This was over here. This is there. You could have a completely different look than mine and I'm sure it would still look great. And then this little bit is coming out of the bottom. That's kind of what we have there. Okay. And then what I did is I just went in with some foam squares here and there and to make things look layered just put some foam behind different things. So like that. I'm gonna put some foam behind this. Okay. I'm going to glue that one down. I'm going to put foam there. That's peeking out. And I'm going to put some on this, these pipes here. And so just by adding that here and there, it kind of creates that layered look. I'm going to put one down here too. And add more glue anywhere you might need it. Alright, so you can kind of see there's, this looks like a big pile of junk really. And then we're going to layer over. I'm trying to kind of hide that garage because it really stands out. You could center it over there. You could put it down here if you wanted. Wherever you want to put that sentiment. I'm actually going to add a little bit more ink on it. It's a little too white for me. Okay. And I think I'm going to put some foam on that as well so it sticks out. tuck it right there and then you have a long piece of twine I am going to cut it in half and I believe in half again is what I did so let's cut it in half and then one more time and then we're going to take those pieces and shove them through the tag tucker ends. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it so it doesn't come undone. And then if 
you want to dirty them up a little bit. There we go. Alright. So that card is finished. Alright, our next card is not older, just better. And we're going to go back to that um, waxing technique. So you have this gear piece here. I'm going to cut that straight edge off. And then you have some smaller ones. So we're going to start with the silver. So there's the gears, and then we're going to do that same thing, same technique, to the sentiment. So not older, just better. Silver. And then the gold. Those are all nice and distressed. Let's clean off our service here. All right, so I'm going to ink this, these papers with the brown again. And we'll get on the inside of that as well. I can't see it very well, but you can a little. So let's go ahead and put down the dark brown. And we're just going to center that on there. And then this piece is going to go on, but we need to add the brads and some foam to the back. So a couple options on the brads we can use. These are larger and much easier to use. So we can use them in the same fashion, poke a hole, stick them in the corner, and but you may still have that same trouble with them popping out, or you're going to have to flip them both to the center. Or I am going to take those same snips, and I am just going to cut off the legs and then I'm just going to glue them on. So there's make them more like a enamel dot instead of a brat. So let's put some foam on the back of that. All right, I have all the backing removed on my foam and I'm gonna center that piece onto the brown. All right. And then the not older, just better is gonna fit just inside that opening. So I'm gonna put some glue on the back of that.
All right, there's that. And we're going to put the gears on as well. And these aren't popped up. These would be kind of hard to pop up. So if you want to cut many pieces of foam, you could. But I'm just going to glue them down. And I kind of have them slightly overlapping that opening. And then the other ones. Put, you could use maybe glue dots. I'm going to put a good amount of glue so that it catches that metal. And then I'm going to lay those down. have to let those sit so they catch on there good. Now they won't lay as flat as they would if you actually use them as a brad. Oops. And I may have to go back and add glue dots. We're going to see how those do. And this glue will hold metal. It's just, it's going to take it a while to dry. So those, that card is completed. Two more cards here. So this is the second to last. This is the get well. And this is where we're going to use some black ink this time. So I'm going to ink the edges of the papers with the black soot. left the sentiment bright white um i was unsure so we'll just i'll do it so you can see i'm going to add some ink to this one and you can decide if you want to leave it white or ink it with the black i kind of put it together and thought you should ink that and it was too late so i just left it so I'm going to go ahead and put down that blue distressed paper onto the white card base. Alright, so the blue paper is down. Now, you have this big black piece, which we actually are going to use, but it's the inside of this frame. So, this frame is very thin and very flimsy. So, if you want to get that frame square, I would suggest using this. So, what I'm going to do is put the smallest amount of glue on there. I'm going to touch it with my finger to take away some of the tacky to kind of make it more removable. And I'm going to put that in the center so it's centered and straight. All right. Does that look good? Yes. And then I'm going to take this frame and I'm going to put the glue on it. Just And then I'm going to lay it around. I'm going to start in this corner. Maybe. It will help get it straight. I'm just going to shove it in. Because without that, that little rectangle doesn't want to be so square. So I'm going to press that in and then I can just pull that out and now you've got that on there perfectly you can save that or pitch it 
And then you have this vellum shadow and you have the letters get well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the get well down. Just kind of get centered back here. We'll do the get. And then I'm going to flip that over and hide the glue behind the letters so we don't see it. And I'm just going to put that in the center like so. And then we got those two itty bitty brads again. So that piece is going to go like that and I'm actually going to take a pencil and mark where I want my, so you could put them, um, like I have mine inside. This time I think I'm going to put them, well, I don't know, I could put them on the outside. I had them kind of right where the frame crosses this time, then you can decide. So I'm going to mark those two spots and find my paper piercer again. Where did that go? I will go ahead and poke those holes. All right. I'm gonna stick those through. This time you shouldn't have any trouble with them sticking out. If you do, you can trim them or bend both legs one direction. All right, and then I'm gonna put some foam on that as well. And I will center that on there. Make sure it's straight, yep. And that card is finished. All right, on to our last card. All right, so we do have some more fussy cutting to do. So we have this big pipe, you have these, the luggage and the phone. So same thing again, I am just cutting straight down this side of the phone and I'm not worried about all those little bitty pieces. I mean, fussy cutting can be hard if you want it to be or Nobody's going to see most of this. We're going to ink it and it's going to be hidden back there. So there's that. All right, one more time with the wax on these gears. So let's get that out. And go ahead, start with the silver. All right. All right, so I forgot to add the ink to that. Let me just add. Ink. All right. So I'm going, now we need to finish inking all the papers. So I think I used black and brown or just the black. So I'm gonna do both. So you have this paper that you don't have to worry about the top and this paper that you don't have to worry about the bottom. You don't want to ink that or it'll really stand out. So with the lights, the bottom, the sides. All right. So first things first, we are going to put down the black paper. to the white card base. Oh yeah, I've got a real mess here. I'm gonna try to clean that up. Oops. Okay. 
And I can cover that side up with my black cardstock. I probably really need to go to the sink and wash my hands because I'm getting this. That's not going to show anyway. I'm also going to use a little bit of the brown. And it's just to kind of soften some of that white in there as well. And then I'm going to put that down. And so with this larger piece, you're going to center it so that on the bottom, it's going to have a very tiny, like a sixteenth of an inch of black. But you want it to be the same on the sides as well as the bottom. And it's going to be a little bit thicker at the top. And that's okay. We're going to cover that up with this piece. overlap. This was one big six by six piece at one time. And we're going to condense it down and make it look full. So now we want that same. We're going to match it up edge to edge and then give that same border at the top. Oops, I've got it upside down. Ooh. You want your ruler at the top. I thought it looked funny. And over here, these um, pipes will match up, so that should help. All right. So you almost you can't tell over here as much. You can't over here, but we're going to layer up some stuff, and you're not going to be able to tell that that was cut in half. So we're going to put this big pipe on there. And then we have these. So what we need to do is we're this this little half here and this larger one we're going to cut away. And then those are going to be used later. And then this piece, you can leave that on. We're going to actually use it to tuck things in. And I think that was it. So. That's going to get tucked in like so behind the pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on it just on this long straight piece. And I will put the pipe over it. Perfect. Okay. And then that is going to go right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. it all the way where that pipe is at the top of the card. All right. And now in here, see if you can see, but right there is a suitcase and this blue suitcase is going to lay right on top as well. So we're going to put some foam on the back of that. All right. And then I'm going to layer that right over the suitcase. We have that phone, which is going to tuck in there, and I'm just going to glue that straight down. I may need to pull that up a little. There we go. And then, let's see. This big gear right here, we're going to cut in half. So right here in half. And one piece is going to get tucked in behind all of that. Have to lift that up. It's going to go right there, kind of over that clock. And then you have this piece here. The other piece we're going to use with the sentiment that we cut in half. But this little gear right there we're going to cut away. And it is going on this side of the luggage over the pipe. 
And now we have our sentiment, so I'm going to pop that up. that oops happy birthday on to that metal piece and then that is gonna here's where that seam is so those two papers and we're gonna cover up that seam with that happy birthday like so and then we'll tuck in our other gears and we'll be ready to finish this card. So I have it slightly overlapping that telephone right over that seam. And then we're going to add the other gear. Just like that. And then I think we have this little one. I'm going to cut away and it is going up above that half one right here. And I think this was a little bonus one that I didn't use on my card, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. So I'm going to cut that one away. And we'll find a spot for it. I think I'm going to put it right there. All right. And that card is complete. I think I like, I'm going to add a little bit more brown to that. There we go. Looks a little bit better. I don't want to. And that card is completed. All right. That completes our video for today and this card kit. I hope you enjoyed. This was a messy. My hands are gross. They need to be washed, but a fun class. And now you'll have some masculine cards in your stash to give away. So thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in a kit, you can find us on the web www.frommomentstomilestones.com and you can search for card kits there. This is the Minte Garage card kit. See you next time.